Hi there, today we're once again going to vocally analyze and react to Lara Fabian singing Broken Vow in her performance in 1999 in France with full orchestra. This is so interesting and I'm so looking forward to hear what she does with this song. so delicate and very refreshing. I love the way that she's singing mostly in her head voice here and adding that tenderness and that soft and intimate feeling to the song from the beginning. You can really hear some pain in her voice as she's doing this, but at the same time, there's love. I can hear all of that by the way she's using her voice, her facial expressions, and mannerisms. to say Lara Fabian's diction is impeccable. You hear her sing in Italian, you hear her sing in French, you hear her sing in English, and every single word is understood. It's quite amazing. And that's something that all singers should attain to. Doesn't matter what language you're singing in, you really want to be able to pronounce each word correctly, but at the same time, really put the emotions that portray to that word, to that phrase as appropriate to that language. She's one of these artists that doesn't matter in the language that she is singing in, she's able to portray the emotions and the message that the poet or the words and the lyrics are trying to portray. It's quite amazing. I also really enjoy the way she's using her voice here at the top. Let me just go back. I, it's such very delicate head voice. She goes from a mix from where she says, I am here, and then alone goes back to head voice. lovely lovely she maintains some of that classical elements to her singing like the space the roundness to her voice this the ease in her throat but at the same time she involves pop music and pop style by making it straight home when she says I let you go instead of going I let you go I let you go. It's beautiful.
hanging on top of the piano. Oh my gosh. That's quite something. I, I would feel a little bit, uh, unstable on top of the piano. And if I were the pianist, I would also feel unstable. Well, maybe it's something that they talked through and they said this song, you want to feel unstable emotionally speaking. So let's do this. I don't know, but it's really quite ingenious. Sorry to stop, but this is so beautiful. But I want to just point out something that she does here when she does, she pronounces the word broken, broken vow. She goes quickly to that end to really resonate on that sound and, and emphasize this, the word broken. But this is something that if you're a classical singer, you usually never do. You try to put the consonants right at the end of, of the line or the note to make sure that the vowel is the one that's really resonating. But in pop music, this is something that is done a lot and it's done for different purposes. And here, Lara is doing it for the purpose of emphasizing that word. Let's go back so you can hear that. I really like what Lara is doing here. In this second repetition of this phrase, she is now moving away from just head voice or head dominant singing into more of a mix voice, mix, uh, mix belt on the top. And this is the way that she is able to emphasize or change the quality of that phrase and emphasize that this is something that is emotionally a turmoil within her. And as a singer, you really need to look for different ways of being to express a phrase with the same words that repeats. This is a very intelligent way of doing so. It's Lara's way of growing and developing the song. It's beautiful. As it vanished for all time. Still Wow, 
This is so exciting. I'm sorry to stop in the middle of the phrase, but I just wanted to show you here some things before we continue because I want you to notice how she is really relaxing her throat and her jaw. By doing so, she's able to easily connect her head voice with her chest voice and able to create that beautiful mixed voice. In my opinion, she always maintains a space that is similar to what operatic singers do when they sing. They maintain a space in their pharyngeal area and also in their mouth that really helps them produce this free sound. And she has been able to kind of transfer that to pop singing and still keep that freedom and produce these songs that are tension free and you don't feel like she's screaming at all ever. And that's what I admire most about her because you don't really feel that she's screaming on the top. She has a very powerful top, powerful chest mix voice, but she is always having that space. She's always using the resonant areas that are similar to those used by opera singers as well. It's beautiful and I really love what she does all the time. <laughs> about her. Ooh. This is exactly what I was talking about before. When she went to that top, she really had all of that space, all of that beautiful um, elements that really help her get those overtones on the top. And I'm just going to go back because this is why it's, I, I, this is why it's so necessary to really learn how to sing really well, in my opinion, with classical training and then move to any other genre that you want to sing because it gives you a really good base to really keep your voice healthy through all of your life. And Lara is a master at being able to use all of these elements of classical singing into her pop singing. And that's what makes me really, really admire her. And I have to say, she's one of my favorite singers now. <laughs> um, in this part, she is accessing all of those resonance spaces that are really needed to for the voice to carry and at the same time um, produce a really strong sound. So I'm going to go back so you can see all of that. Too. 
have to go back just a little bit back to that hum before we finish because I want you to notice also that her hum is even really well done because she's not clenching her her mouth and humming no she's really opening she's really keeping space between the teeth and she's keeping also space in the back as well and not tensing her throat so the teeth are really open in between that and that's the key for a healthy and beautiful hum and she does so all the way here i'm going to go back to where she starts humming Laura Fabian is just an amazing performer and singer. Every time I listen to her, she moves me. And she's able to use technical elements from different types of singing, and she is able to connect them beautifully in one line and sing to her audience with all of her heart. Please let me know in the comments below if there are any other songs by Lara Fabian you would like me to react to, or if there are any other songs by any other singers you would like me to present in this channel as well. Thank you to all of you who have been supporting this channel. That really does help me a lot to continue creating more content for you. If you would like your voice analyzed by me, or if you would like to know more about any other programs that I offer, please check out the description below for more information. Remember to keep singing, be happy, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.